Hello Gemini, this is your January forecast. Happy New Year to you, I hope that it's a wonderfully joyful one ahead for you. This uh, month we've got a lot of planetary action in the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn ruled by Saturn and Saturn is all about structure. So it's no accident that usually at this time of year we're talking about New Year resolutions. And this is a great time to be thinking about what it is that you'd like to accomplish for yourself this year. Geminis, you like to have lots of balls in the air. And Saturn is just asking you uh, right now for this month, um, all right, what's most important to you? Can you sort of weed out uh, some of the ones that maybe can just fly off into the air and really keep the ones that are really, really important to you and set yourself maybe some little, little goals um, coming up for this month at the very least. So the first thing is that on the fourth of the month, we've got Mars uh, coming into your sixth house of work and health. <clears throat> and this uh, Mars here is a great time uh, for putting energy into your career, into your work. It's probably going to be a very busy time at work. Whenever I see Mars in the sixth house, it's like you're doing lots of things. And of course, Gemini, uh, you're probably going to enjoy that. It's also a very good uh, time from the 4th of the month to put some energy into your physical health, your physical well-being, to do physical things. Mars is about being physical, it's not about sitting still, not that Geminis sit still a great deal, but it's about getting around, getting about doing things. And you may find yourself uh, wanting to contribute to others, maybe do a little bit of volunteering as well uh, could come up for you as a possibility uh, later in the month. On the 6th of the month, yes, it's Mercury going retrograde again, coming into your 8th house here. That's where all this uh, Capricorn activity is going on. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, Mercury's retrograde from the 6th until the 26th of the month. And most of the activity for you this month is this 8th house here. Uh, do check out my uh, free latest video that I've put out on the houses. So many of you asked uh, for it. Could you please explain a bit about the houses? So uh, there should be a link somewhere appearing on this video for you uh, so that you can check out that and should make it easier for you to understand what I'm explaining every month uh, for these forecasts. So Mercury retrograde. Well, it's already the activities happening in this eighth house. So Pluto been there since 2008 for you, uh, Geminis. Uh, so very much a time where you've really had to um, go very deeply into yourself, deeper and deeper. A lot of um, issues that you need to sort of dig out, really. It's like sort of digging, getting the weeds out, going further down and further down. And this is another month, really, for really looking deeply inside of yourself. Time to look at the workings of your mind, because as you know, whatever you're believing is really going to happen for you. So great time really, especially with Mercury retrograde, to unearth some of those beliefs. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you believe that you can uh, earn a good living? Do you believe that you can be really healthy? Do you believe that you can have great relationships? Mercury retrograde, great time to reconsider and to look at the deeper things that are going on beneath the surface for you, Geminis. Because Geminis, very often you do like to flit around on the surface. Not all of you, of course, depends what else is in the chart. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to get some water. Um, there we are. Better. Thank you. And um, uh, so it's about really looking strongly, deeply as well into finances, into money, how you deal with money, how you deal with other people's money, other people's resources. You may find yourself getting into something uh, sexual as well. It's very much, especially with the new moon happening um, on the 10th of the month, a new moon happening uh, in Gemini here in that eighth house. So you may have some new intimate experiences an opportunity to approach intimacy, how you allow people close to you. Sometimes as a Gemini, you kind of, you're lovely, you're friendly, but you don't necessarily allow people that close. 
there could be issues of trust coming up, but an opportunity to, uh, to be new, to be fresh, to do different things, uh, to allow people maybe just to love you and let them in to love you just a little bit more than you have done so far. On the 15th of the month, we've got your ruler Mercury trying to uh, Jupiter here in the fourth house from the 8th to the 4th. Um, sorry, Mercury um, here on this trine. Oh, this is lovely. This could be a nice news. Could be some nice news to do with family or even somebody giving you some money or a gift. Um, or just some kind of a, a negotiating uh, interaction. Maybe you've had a negotiation that's gone on and it's not completed yet. <clears throat> this would be um, a great time during the retrograde where something that you've been negotiating could actually complete during the retrograde. I would not start negotiations, however, between the 6th and the 26th. On the 21st of the month, we've got the sun coming into your ninth house, shining a light high up in the chart. And it's a wonderful time there for planning travel, maybe going somewhere you've not been to before. Great time for learning something new, expanding your horizons, and also um, for connecting up with people internationally. Maybe meeting somebody from another place, another country, another culture, and really enjoying that interaction. And it's also a really good time uh, with the sun there to deal with anything that may be of a legal nature. Shining a light on it for you. Um, so this would be um, uh, after the 21st and I'd probably, <coughs> excuse me, would leave it until after the 26th when Mercury has gone direct. And uh, we've got a full moon on the 24th of the month happening here in Leo in your third house and this full moon here um, shining a light on uh, your skills, your knowledge. Do you need to learn some new skills? Is there something else that you can add to your array of things, Geminis, that you already do? Um, this is shining a light possibly uh, on uh, a neighbour. Maybe a neighbour needs some help. Somebody around your vicinity maybe needs some help or it's also shining a light on networking. Do you need to get a little bit more au fait with um, uh, Facebook and social networking and social media? This full moon, uh, Gemini's, I know you are the natural networkers, but the full moon here is encouraging you uh, to do it maybe a little bit more. We've also on the 24th got Venus as well <coughs> going into your eighth house. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> Thank you guys. And um, Venus as well in the eighth. Well, if you are in a relationship, and many of you may well be in a solid relationship with Saturn there, you're either separating or you're in a solid relationship. Um, and they, there's an opportunity for becoming more intimate, not only physically, but emotionally and spiritually here. So uh, there's a lot of potential uh, for you this month. So there you have it. That's your January forecast, uh, my lovely Geminis. And um, I wish you a very, very happy new year. Thank you for sharing, commenting and giving me feedback. I do appreciate it. Bye for now.